This is the enrichment analysis screencast from Bioinformatics Academy. This video is part of our enrichment analysis crash course. Today I will demonstrate you how to perform a simple gene set enrichment analysis using online services from the Gene Trail website. We will use a rank list of mouse genes identified by Entrust Gene IDs as our target list. Let's visit the Gene Trail website to start this practice. Observe that there are two different data analysis tools available here, GeneTrail and GeneTrail Express. For this practice we have to start the analysis by clicking on the GeneTrail button in the top menu. In this web service you can perform either overrepresentation analysis or gene search enrichment analysis. As now we are more interested in the later, we have to select the radio button before the gene set enrichment analysis term and proceed by clicking on the button below. On the next screen we have to choose our target organism, which is in this case mouse. After proceeding we have to specify what kind of IDs we use to identify the genes on our list. There are a few options but much less than in the webgestart service meaning that the best practice is to use Entrust gene IDs. On the next page we can upload the file to the server. Finally we are at the main settings page. We can choose to upload a custom annotation file or choosing from the preset annotations what we will, will do here. Let's select the cat pathways for this demo. As there are multiple occurrences of the same gists on our rank lists, we have to tell to the system how to handle these cases. We can select either to use the first or last occurrences on the list or alternatively we can use the median position. For this analysis we will use the median position but this option shouldn't affect dramatically the results. We have to take care of the multiple hypothesis testing. It is safe to apply the Benjamini Hochbeck approach by selecting the FDR adjustment option. We leave the significance threshold on the default 0.05 value this time but we can do stricter selection if we would see too many results. We can limit the number of terms to be tested by adjusting the least or most number of genes for a term to be tested. This is an important point as it can define how long the analysis will run. It is a good idea to set the lower limit to something higher than the default as this way we can eliminate the terms represented by only a handful of genes. We can apply 30 genes as a lower limit for now. I want to see the largest categories in this case therefore we will leave the maximum number of genes option empty. Let's go with this analysis by clicking the submit button. Be aware that the analysis of lengthy list can take a lot of time. Especially gene ontology analysis with gene trail is long, often can take several hours. But with this short list of genes and using the CAC terms, this demo analysis should be ready in less than a minute. Let's review the results online. The main result is a large table with the enriched terms. By clicking on the show details button we can access the enrichment plot for each enriched terms individually. To help the interpretation of the results we can sort them by clicking the number of positives in test option to get the categories with the highest number of genes on the top. The most interesting part of the results are the running sum plots describing the behavior of each enriched terms. On the horizontal axis you can see the genes in the order you have provided them in your file. The curve reflects the appearance of the term on the gene list. If it's associated with the top of the list you can see a high peak in the first third of the axis. If the term is mostly on the bottom of your gene list you can see a nice negative peak at the right end of the plot. Remember that the strength of the association is shown by the largest absolute distance from the horizontal axis. We can see excellent examples for terms associated with either ends of the list. For example, the jackstart signaling pathway is very strongly associated with the top of our example list, meaning that the most approximated genes in the original microarray experiment belong here, while the term metabolic pathway is associated strongly with the bottom of the list, meaning that the most downregulated genes in the experiment are metabolic pathway genes. If you want to include these results to your publication, you have to mention the number of genes associated to the terms, the significance of this association and the running sample. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. See you for the detailed explanation at Bioinformatics Academy.